<laughs> uh, we've seen some strange internet challenges over the years, including some downright silly or even dangerous ones like those Tide Pod challenges. But they're not all bad. Some can be a little bit of fun. Click Orlando.com's <laughs> Brianna Voles always makes sure we know what's trending. So she is joining us now with the latest online trend that's getting a lot of laughs. You keep, you keep us hip. <laughs> yes, I tried to. And the internet has done it again. This time, it's the number neighbor challenge. So if you've already gotten a weird text message, this might be why. Basically, you text someone whose phone number is just like yours, but the last digit is off by one. So if your number ends in 5555, you text the person whose number is the same, but ends in 5554 or 5556, either one number below or above yours. So after you reach out to them, letting them know you're their number neighbor, you're supposed to screenshot and post their response online. Now, in a lot of cases, the conversations have been absolutely hilarious. Some have even sprouted new friendships, but in others, it's been clear. Some number neighbors just don't want to be contacted. Now, while the trend is getting a lot of laughs right now, like other challenges, this is not the first time the internet has seen it. According to Mashable.com, we first saw the challenge in 2008 when the term text door neighbor was coined. And it came back around, I know it's cute, right? In 2016, and again, most recently, starting last week, when a Twitter user posted screenshots of a conversation with his number neighbor and challenged others to do the same. And from there, it just took off, and I have not been able to stop reading them since. Now, like I said, some really just make you laugh because the conversations don't go well at all, but others have gone so well that some people have started group texts with their number neighborhoods, including all the phone <laughs> numbers that could come from changing the last digit of their own. So, time for that. I know, but it is funny. It's very funny. I've posted all kinds of examples in our story on clickorlando.com. You can see them there. So go check them out if you need a good midweek laugh. Now, <clears throat> of course, you might have some reservations about getting texts from a stranger. You Correct. might think it's dangerous, Julie. Really. <laughs> if you have received one, there's a good chance it is harmless since this challenge is trending right now. But you should always keep those tips that we always share with you in these cases in mind. Don't click any links. Don't share any personal information. And if you don't feel comfortable with the idea at all, you can always just ignore or block them. So you're saying I shouldn't have given my social security to my <laughs> number <laughs> neighbor? And now you have a reason to be scared. Oh, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I mean. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, our executive producer, Tara, texted her number neighbor. Well, she can only text one of them because the other one's her dad. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they have the same that's phone odd. number except by one. And then she texted the other one and they replied, Stop. So they Stop. did not want to they be contacted. They probably thought it was one of those, you know, yeah. <clears throat> yes. spam Yeah, stuff. I'm also not interested in hearing from anyone. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to find your number <laughs> neighbor and make sure they talk to you. It's yeah. just weird to me. And maybe that makes me like 150 years old, like get off my lawn kind of person. No, <laughs> no it makes you smart. Trooper Steve is standing over there. He he and I don't want to be contacted by our number neighbors. There, right? was, <laughs> there was a conversation I saw on Click Orlando that someone was like, oh, I didn't know you're my neighbor. And then sent him a picture of like a fruitcake or a, a casserole, pizza or casserole. And be like, welcome to the neighbor. So, I mean, if you send fun gifts back and forth. It, you know. Well, maybe your number neighbor is waiting on you to make the first move. Julie's is. If you do, be sure to share their response with us on clickorlando.com. We can always use a good laugh. Well, they're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> I can't wait to find the first marriage of oh, next time. Oh, yeah. You know that will happen. Is this you know Tinder? Happen. Bumble? Who knows? Number neighbors. All right. Text me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bree.